officially introduce the city of wind, dandelions, and freedom. Travelers under the protection of the Knights of Havonius, welcome to Mondstadt. Finally, no more having to camp outdoors. But the city folk don't look too cheery. Everyone's been put out of place by storm terror recently. But everything will turn out fine as long as Jean's with us. Jean? Acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius, Jean, Defender of Mondstadt. With Jean on our side, surely even the vicious Storm Terror will be no match for us. Before I take you guys to the Knights of Favonius headquarters, I have a present for you, Traveler. It's a reward for helping me clear out that Hillitrol camp. H hey! Why doesn't Paimon get a reward? Uh, because this reward is useless to you, Paimon. But I'll treat you to a traditional Mondstadt delicacy. Sticky honey roast. Sticky honey roast! Come with me. We'll head to the city's, uh, high ground. This used to be a bustling street, but with so many storm terror attacks recently, the usual crowds are nowhere to be seen. Well, except for the pub in the corner. Oddly, they don't seem to have been affected. If anything, their business seems to have improved. give you is a wind glider. Outriders use them to ride the wind, and the people of Mondstadt love using them too. I brought you here to give it to you so you can experience it right away. Oh, you're really excited about these wind gliders, huh? Well, that's because the wind is the heart and soul of Mondstadt. Oh. Alrighty then, enough talk. Let's give it a whirl. It's easy to use, but you still need to pay attention to my instructions.
hurt? <gasps> You've actually got the power to go up against the dragon. Are you a new ally? Or a new storm? Storm Terror is attacking Mondstadt City itself! Kaya, Traveler, you've come at the right time. We must... Hold on, Amber. Are you perhaps forgetting to introduce us? Oh, right. This is Kaya, our cavalry captain. These two are travelers from afar. From afar? Is that all we know of them? Uh, long story short... I see. Welcome to Mondstadt. Uh, though you haven't arrived at the best of times, I'm afraid. I understand the anguish of being separated from family. I'm not really sure why you're looking for the Animo God. Oh, but everyone has their secrets, right? <laughs> Relax. I won't press you for more. First and foremost, on behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I would like to extend our thanks to you for your help just now. Your fight to defend the city against the dragon just now was witnessed by no small number of citizens. The acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius is also very interested in meeting you, and formally invites you both to our headquarters. headquarters. Let's head in. There have been sightings of storm terror outside the city. Once we meet, we must... Jean, what's the hurry? We agreed to meet here, we just have to wait. There have been sightings of storm terror outside the city. Once we meet, we must... Relax, I'll lend a hand when the time comes. Jean, I brought them. And once it was over, I brought them straight here. Mondstadt welcomes you, Windborn Travelers. I am Jean, acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. This is Lisa, our resident. Oh, are you sweeties here to help us out? You're both so adorable. Sadly, the timing is regrettable. Storm Terror has caused quite a ruckus in the region since his recent resurgence. Simply put, Mondstadt's elemental sphere and ley lines are now akin to a yarn ball in the paws of a kitten. For a mage, it couldn't get much worse. My skin is one elemental particle away from a full-blown breakout. <sighs> if it weren't for this interference, the Knights of Favonius would have better ways to help you than just putting up missing person posters. We simply ask that you repose in Mondstadt while we help you seek out your sister. Paimon will help, too. Good. In that case, we need a plan. With Storm Terror now directly attacking Mondstadt, we may have an opportunity to cut this problem off at the source. Lisa has revealed the sources of Storm Terror's power with her detection magic. Is that so? They're located in the abandoned Four Winds Temples. 
Storm Terror's ability to whip up these kinds of storms can be attributed to it drawing power from the temples. Our objective is to deal with three of the four temples. I trust everyone understands why we are only dealing with three. Paimon doesn't. Knights of Favonius, time is against us. The storm is rampant. There is no point in maintaining a defensive position. We need to take initiative and act before the situation escalates.
With Jean by our side, nothing can stand in our way. At least, but I can't keep spouting that same old line. She always dashes headlong into the heat of the battle, and we want her to take better care of herself. I really hope that one day, I can look Jean in the eye and tell her she doesn't need to worry anymore, because we have her back.
Hard work is all there is to the craft. This is it, one of the deserted temples of the Four Winds. These temples have been left to waste for years now. The people of Mondstadt almost never come here. There's a chance there's a monster nest or hillatrol camp inside. <sighs> Even Storm Terror has given up on its own temple. Yes, I also find it hard to accept, but Storm Terror was once one of the Four Winds. Huh? Wait, did you just feel that? The wind here, something's off. Let's go in and take a look. Be careful. The dragon's... You can use that console to open the door. Huh? How did that work? Wow, I can see so far into the temple. You can't keep up with me! Thank you. 
Are those explosive barrels over there? Well, one shot should be able to blow them up! we've helped Jean out. In the past, we were at least able to defend the city and keep it safe. This, of course, is mostly thanks to Jean. But now with Storm Terror directly attacking the city itself, the winds change. So too should our tactics. It's what Lisa likes to say. Speaking of which, the four winds we were discussing earlier? If you want to learn more about our history, you can ask Lisa. I'm not saying I don't know our history. It's just, I mean... A librarian is supposed to be more knowledgeable than an outrider.
You're going to help me out too? Don't hesitate to come to me if you need anything. Good question. Basically, things other than that. So. I guess I could give this a go. I knew it. There's a strong elemental energy coming from deep within this temple. Paimon, are you able to float across? Can't do much even if she does. Let's ride this wind current. Electro monument. Let me try a bit of electro power. Stand back, sweeties.
blade. When it comes to wet enemies, I've got them covered. Wind current. Let's ride it up from here. Yes. Ha. 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 Chain lightning jumps between electrocharged opponents. Electrical discharge from friction is only a little less shocking than love at first sight. Gem? <laughs> You're kidding. You're seriously asking? This is a vision. It's used by the Chosen to draw on elemental powers. In terms of mysticism, I suppose you could call it a magical lightning rod. So, you've never seen a vision. Just where exactly are you from? Are you a hilly churl with some level of reasonable intelligence? No, I doubt it. After all, hilly churls aren't exactly known for their sm Break it and we can head home and relax. Oh, it's I think we've earned the chance to put our feet up. Let's head back to the statue of the... Dragon of the East, Lion of the South, Wolf of the North, Falcon of the West. They are the four winds of Mondstadt, affiliated with Barbados, the god of Animo. Devalin, that's Storm Terror's real name. Before everyone started calling it Storm Terror, it was the Dragon of the East. So now you know why Devalin is only able to channel three of the four winds' power. Because it has been consuming itself from the beginning. Because of hatred, I presume. Hatred? Hatred for Mondstadt. Hatred drove it to become something more powerful than the wind itself. To become Storm Terror. But why would one of the four winds hate the city it was supposed to protect? Uh, as a child of Mondstadt, it's something that's really hard to say aloud. Here, take this. It's a very old story from more than a century ago.